Welcome, for now is a Sony Xperia 5 Mark II and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now as you can obviously see the phone in front of me is locked and I can unlock it using a verification pattern or using the Google account. Now assuming we don't know either of those, we're going to begin by going back to the first page, changing the language to any kind of other language that uses a different keyboard. So basically anything down here will work, I'm going to go with Greek. And from here again, let's progress through the setup, back to the Google verification screen. Tap on a field and then hold the globe icon. Then go to language settings, tap on the blue button and add any kind of keyboard that uses a, or any kind of keyboard that doesn't have an arrow next to it. As you can see, there are several with an arrow. Choose any that any keyboard that doesn't have that. Once you tap on it, from there, tap on Add, which is again the blue button, and from there, go back to the first page again, and change your language back to your desired language, which for me is English. And again, go back to the Google verification screen. Again, tap on a field. Hold the globe icon and go to language settings, add keyboard, and now look for one with an arrow, which there it is, Albanian. Tap on three dots from there and go to help and feedback. And choose use Morse code. Now if you don't see this option, simply type it in here. And once you open it up, tap on the video, tap on three dots and go to watch later. This will in turn open up Chrome. So from here, accept and continue and no thanks, we don't want to sync. And then in the search bar, you want to navigate to hard reset that info website. As you can see, our keyboard is right now in a different uh, language. So let's hold the globe icon once more and change it to query alphabet, which is for me in the middle. And now we can type in hard reset. That info. Tap on, tap on the three bars and go to the download category and in the download search bar, you want to look for Android 7.1.2. Can I try to shorten it? Which, there we go. So I wrote only Android 7 and it's the second one. As you can see, bypass or FRP bypass Android 7.1.2 slash 10. So that's what we're interested in. Up on the download, scroll down and from here you want to hold this and choose to open in incognito tab, tap on OK once it pops up and let it download. From there choose open. Now let's go to settings, uh, allow from this source and then go back and install. Scroll down and tap on continue open and it will crash so close up okay and from there you want to back out back out once more and let's back out once more there we go and now in the search bar you're looking for settings i'm actually gonna try something else so gonna change the ending right here from the download to bypass now normally you would want to search for settings download the app and again install it but i want to try this one and it seems to be working now so once you're in the setting i uh, want to start off by going into the where is it applications and notifications see all 34 and from here up on three bars, show system, and scroll down to G. Now, I can grab it, but I just can't see the letters, so C, D, F, D. There we go. So, as you can see, we're now in the uh, under the G section and we're looking for Google Play services. So, when I tap on it, disable, disable app. 
Now close this and uh, as you can see it is now disabled. And also tap on the Google Play Store. It looks like it's already disabled. Unless I need to disable something else. So for now I'm going to try to add the account and we'll see if that works. So let's go back to the main settings page and from here you're looking for accounts. Tap on add account, choose Google. And from here log in with your Google account. So I'm going to use mine. There we go. And now I'm going to put in a password for it. So I'm going to do that off the screen. And let's log in. Let's agree. And once your account has been added, let's go back to the apps and notifications, uh, CL34, show system, and scroll back down to G where we have disabled our apps or our single app. So there it is Google Play Services, enable, go back. And from here, let's hold the power key, select restart. Yep, yeah, so once it's back on, let's progress through the setup. As you can see, this pop-up will show up a couple more times uh, telling us that the app, app crashed, but it doesn't really matter. This, uh, this app allowed us to actually add the Google account. Without it, uh, the Google account option would not be visible at all. So I just disregard it. And as you can see, the app uh, it's telling us that account was added. And it is the account that I have added right before the reboot. So it looks like the process worked. So let's just tap on next and also mention that that uh, where it was telling us that account was added. This was also the screen where it previously told us to verify our account. Now at this point you want to skip the majority of this. It doesn't really matter how you set up your device because the process is still not finished. We still need to perform a reset of the device through settings. So as you can see, we're now on the home screen and from here you want to go into the settings, scroll all the way down to system, advanced, reset options, erase all data, factory reset. And as you can see, once you perform this, it tells us that it will remove the Google account that we have added, but it also will remove the account that was previously blocking us that is still uh, on the device. So if we were to reset the device uh, other ways than through settings, the device would go back to being locked. If we go through settings, and the device will then fully unlock itself. So from here, tap on delete all data, delete all data, and simply let's wait for the device to finish unlocking itself. And as you can see, now the process is finished. So from here, let's go through the setup. Now this time around, you can set up your device as however you like. It is, well, by all means unlocked, but I'm gonna 
choose to skip majority of the things and number one uh, most important thing that you can see Wi-Fi now is a skippable option which if the device would still be locked uh, this would not be the option so like I said I'm gonna skip the majority of this and there we go we're done with the setup there was nothing stopping us from basically skipping everything and the process was successful so that is how you would bypass the google verification on the sony xperia 5 mark ii and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching